You know how sometimes you come across people on your For You page who just get it? Like they're light years ahead of everyone else? Now imagine that person, but in ancient Alexandria. No Wi-Fi, no smartphones, just scrolls and stargazing. Meet Hypatia, the original STEM influencer. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. So who was this early STEM influencer? Hypatia was born around 360 CE in Alexandria, Egypt, a city known for having one of the most famous libraries in the history of the world, the Library of Alexandria. Her dad, Theon, was a pretty big deal. He was a mathematician and philosopher himself, and Hypatia was encouraged to study math, philosophy, and astronomy. While most people stuck to one subject, that wasn't Hypatia's style. She was what is called a polymath, which is a fancy word for being really, really good at multiple things. She taught and wrote about math, astronomy, and philosophy. Triple threat, am I right? And Hypatia wasn't just a student. She became the head of the Neoplatonic School in Alexandria, the top authority in philosophy. In a world where men usually held the highest academic positions, Hypatia shattered expectations and led the charge. People traveled for miles to hear her lectures. Her influence was undeniable, and she packed crowds with her teachings, proving that girl power was alive and kicking even in ancient Egypt. Okay, let's talk about some of Hypatia's contributions, starting with her work on the astrolabe. This device was used by sailors and astronomers to measure the position of the sun, moon, and stars, helping them navigate the seas and understand the heavens. Think of it as a low-tech compass that also let you check out constellations. It was even used to predict the rise and fall of tides and help plan the planting of farm fields. How did it work? By aligning a rotating disc with the stars, you could figure out what time it was, what direction you were heading, and even predict astronomical events. And this was all without batteries. If you've ever used a stargazing app to find constellations, Hypatia was basically working with the OG version. She enhanced the astrolabe's design by refining its mathematical calculations and improving its construction, making it more accurate and user-friendly. Her contributions enabled astronomers and navigators to better understand celestial movements, paving the way for significant advancements in navigation and science. Hypatia also made significant improvements to the hydrometer, a tool used to measure the density of liquids. Still used today, they typically contain a float or an object of known weight and density, and a scale showing how deep it sinks. It works by being placed in a liquid. How much the float sinks reveals the liquid's density, the denser the liquid, the less the hydrometer sinks. Hydrometers rely on the Archimedes principle, which says that the force pushing up on a solid object floating in a liquid is equal to the weight of the fluid that the solid is moving out of the way. They can help people figure out everything from measuring the density of sugar in a liquid to how hydrated a person is. While the hydrometer existed in various forms before her time, Hypatia refined its design, enhancing its precision and reliability. By improving its mathematical principles and construction, she made it easier for users to measure liquid density more precisely, which was crucial for both scientific and practical applications. Her advancements helped lay the foundation for more accurate studies in fields like chemistry and physics, influencing the development of modern scientific instruments. Modern hydrometers are still used in activities such as analyzing soil and cow's milk. What makes Hypatia's work so impressive is that she wasn't just a philosopher or a mathematician. She was hands-on with technology that literally changed the way we understand the world. She was improving the tools scientists use to explore the universe and pushing forward the study of liquids, all while people were still figuring out basic geometry. And remember, this wasn't a time when everyone had access to this kind of learning. Hypatia's contributions in math and science weren't just impressive because she was a woman living in that era, they were groundbreaking. But Alexandria wasn't just a city of scholars. It was also full of political and religious tension. As Hypatia's influence grew, so did the jealousy and suspicion around her. People started seeing her as a symbol of intellectualism in a time of political turmoil. And yeah, being a powerful intellectual in a heated environment was a dangerous combo. Hypatia found herself caught in the middle of political struggles. 
She became a target for a group of people who disagreed with her influence and ideas. And sadly, she faced a tragic fate. It was an unfortunate end to a life dedicated to learning. And it shows just how challenging and dangerous it can be for anyone making waves in the world of ideas. Hypatia's work helped bridge ancient knowledge with future scientific developments. And her legacy as a pioneering female scholar in a male-dominated field continues to inspire generations in the STEM community today. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.